Hey everybody, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today we're going to be playing some more Sunder, a Doom 2 WAD. Uh, last week I did Map 2, The Burrow, and uh, this week I am doing Map 4, Metal Descendants. Uh, this is a very tricky map uh, that's got some very, very tough parts for probably all the wrong reasons, as you will see. Um, but there's also a lot of other parts that seem overwhelming at first that are actually pretty easy once you get a handle on things and have a game plan going into specific fights so I'll be talking about uh, various strategies and things like that that I use to get through this map uh, as we go through it uh, and uh, yeah we will be quick saving along the way after every major fight just like we were previously uh, that way if we do die which we probably will we don't have to uh, retread too much of our progress or too much of our tracks so but yeah map 4 metal descendants uh, so first thing here is there's gonna be a cyber demon and a bunch of enemies in this room and uh, so what I want to do is just try to run around and get some infighting going. We've got two revenants here around the edge as well, just like so. And looks like I'm taking a lot of damage so far. And this is actually a really bad start, but let's see if we can recover here. There we go, we got some infighting going. Now you notice that uh, there's this crusher here in the middle, and this is a common uh, gimmick on this map. It's very, very common. And you're going to want to take advantage of that to do some extra damage on enemies. Now there's an arch vial right here as well that you want to get rid of first. And uh, hopefully we can take care of that arch vial before dealing with anything else. So there we go. Cyber actually hit him. And that was perfect. That was actually really good. So now what I'm going to do is sometimes I like to leave the Cyber. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and actually just get rid of him right now. Because uh, he could be problematic if you leave him outside lingering. This next fight that we're going to go into is uh, quite challenging. And there's nothing like trying to squeeze your way out of a tiny door with a Cyber Demon on the other side. It's not very much fun. So we're going to go ahead and just try to get rid of this guy. Now I can try to have him get crushed, but I find that uh, he'll like knock his head on the top and then not actually go through and start getting crushed. So we're going to go ahead and just try to keep a distance, hit him with my shotgun shells, just like so. And hopefully I don't die. I've only got 8% health. So not a very good start health-wise, that's for damn sure. And there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and grab some health right here. And uh, we're going to go back and get some shells as well. We've got shells in this room in the beginning. Didn't want to get them all in the beginning uh, because I had 96 and uh, so that would have been very wasteful. But what I'm going to do is pick up this uh, supercharge right here. And uh, we're going to have to go ahead and hit... Um, did I not get the... Uh, no, I did. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button. I think I was pressing number five, and number four is your chain gun. We're gonna go ahead and use the chain gun here, and they're gonna be chain gunners in these these gates up top, and uh, we're gonna actually get up there after this room. So go ahead and save it, open it up, go straight for the chain gunners, just like so. But you need to stay in constant motion because on the other side of the arena, uh, hell knights are spawning, and you don't want to get hit by those hell knights. They do a lot of damage. But our main focus here is to try to get rid of the uh, as many chain gunners as possible because they are extremely dangerous in this setup here. We'll just keep moving around and hopefully squeeze right by, back by, just like so. Sort of lightly tapping my chain gun sometimes, which will let me do 100% accurate shots. Now, again, more crushers. This is the theme of this level. Lots of crushers. And so you want to take advantage of the crushers. So I'm circling around like I normally would in a slaughter map like this with big groups of enemies and uh, basically sort of herding the enemies around into the crushers while sniping some of these chain gunners uh, when I get the opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and just let the crushers do as much as they can, uh, shooting some of these guys occasionally. And in the meantime, I'm going to also hit these switches as they come down. It's four switches all guarded by these long, timed walls that come down. So when I first played Sunder many years ago, this map, this first room in particular, just gave me total hell. But it's actually not that bad, as long as you can take out the chain gunners, start herding the Hell Knights towards the middle. Oops, took a hit. It's okay. 
and just let the crushers do some of the work for you. It makes it a lot easier. It makes life way easier. The biggest hurdle is just the beginning, because you'll notice that the chain gunners were all around the, the outer perimeter, and then the Hell Knights were spawning from these two platforms here. And so it's hard to just run around in circles when the enemies are spawning on that side of the map. Um, but once they're done spawning, um, it's not too hard to, to herd them towards the middle. Just keep circling around them. So now, uh, I've killed the Cyber Demon, so I don't have to worry about him, thankfully. So... Oh, one, uh, <laughs> one lingering chain gunner. Uh, so this is where we can actually get some chain gun ammo as well. And we're going to be using this uh, on a later part of the map that's going to involve lots of platforming and, guess what, more chain gunners. And it's the worst part of the map. It's actually through this right here. You can sort of see platforms. It's a little difficult to see. Uh, it obfuscates your view a little bit, but it's a very nasty section. One of my least favorite parts of Sunder as a whole. Uh, so we're going to be quick saving pretty much after every platform on that section. If I don't, then we're going to be dying and dying and dying and dying and dying again. And what I love about uh, Sunder, and some other maps do this too, or in other wads, is they give you peaks to other areas of, of the map. You can't quite see the whole thing, but you know there's something over there. And it's just uh, really good map design. So, we're going to go ahead and just work our way back around. So again, uh, some of the parts on this map are pretty easy when you get the hang of them. Other parts are much, much more difficult. Let's go ahead and quick save here. And so there's a couple of things you could do here. You can grab that rocket launcher and try to use it. Uh, what I like to do is actually use the super shotgun. It's a lot safer. It takes longer to do this, but it is much safer. So what I'm going to do is just keep running back and forth, shooting these revenants with the super shotgun. And then maybe occasionally the revenants will hit the barons of hell which will then cause some monster infighting, which would be ideal. But I do not want to stay in place for more than a, a couple of moments. Otherwise, Revenant Rockets are going to catch up to me, and they're going to do some serious damage. In my practice run on this map, I actually died in this room a lot. It's, it's not really that bad of a room, as long as you stay in constant motion. But I just was struggling with it. And if you've uh, never played something like Sunder, but you're thinking about trying a wad like this, uh, be prepared to be trying rooms again and again and again and again. You'll just be dying left and right. But what's fun about these wads is, you know, you'll eventually pick up on, you know, tried and true, solid strategies. And then you'll start working your way through these fights consistently, and then it becomes super satisfying. Just like any other difficult game that's got rhythm and rhyme to it. It's about knowing those strategies, about knowing those tricks. And playing smart. So this is the smart way of playing. It's not the fastest way of playing. So if you're trying to speed run the map or something like that, then this strategy is not going to be the way to go. You're going to want to use your rocket launcher. But again, way more risky. I had to actually turn around there. I was do pretty much sort of doing a, uh, a circular pattern. But that Hell Knight, or that Baron of Hell, I should say, uh, got in my way. And that's okay. When you don't have swarms of enemies around you, you can mix up your strategies, you can mix up your movements. You know, you could just sit in place if you want to, like right now. So if I wanted to, I can come down here and actually use my rocket launcher, since these are the only guys left. But I don't want to do that if I've got other enemies behind me. So we've got multiple switches here. And uh, this reveals uh, these gates, which uh, will give us our yellow key. So despite nearly dying in that first room, we, uh, we came back strong. We're at 120% health. And uh, so what we're going to do here is destroy lots of, lots of Hell Knights and Barons. Now if I wanted to, I could probably... No, I'm too late. I was going to say I can come out there and try to get them going underneath that crusher. But that's not going to happen. I'm going to just stay here, just shoot these guys. They'll just funnel through this hallway. They'll also funnel through the left-hand side too, so you've got to watch out for that. Otherwise, a uh, uh, Hell Knight or Baron will walk around the corner and you'll just smack him right in the face of the rocket and then blow yourself up in the process. Yep, just like that. Oh, whoa, that was four rockets. Usually it's three rockets on the, uh, the Hell Knights. Four is quite rare. Now, Barons of Hell will take usually five or six rockets. 
Took a hit, but that's okay. Didn't do a lot of damage, which is nice. Still over- Oh, god, I didn't see that. It's one of the problems with these bodies, uh, above that stair. Is that, uh, you know, they'll- they'll block projectiles. Or they'll, uh... Obfuscate them, I should say. They'll basically make the projectiles hidden. You won't be able to see them until they're past the uh, the corpse. And I think that's probably it for all the enemies. So not bad. We're actually, you know, considering what what happens in that first room there, uh, we're actually doing all right, surprisingly. So first thing first things first in this room is this is going to eventually be a big fight, um, but I have a special trick for that. But you want to walk, run around the arena and pick up all the ammo that you can. And, uh, looks like that is it. That's everything we need. So we're going to go ahead and hit this switch here, which opens up this door. And it's going to take us to our next big fight. Now, this fight was really hard for me when, when I first played Sunder. But again, when you know what to do, it's not too bad. Uh, so let's grab some green armor right here. Very important. Go ahead and pick up all these rockets and the supercharge. And then there's going to be a switch right here that we have to hit. Not a Nintendo switch. A Doom switch. So let's go ahead and grab that. And looks like we are... Good. Okay, we're good. So I got the plasma gun, but what I like to do is start off with the rocket launcher. And this is going to teach you a strategy that's really good uh, in slaughter maps. Where you just constantly move around in circles and you try to basically cut a hole through enemies. Through walls of enemies. Just like so. Rockets are really good against groups of imps. And I'm trying to stay back because I don't want to blow myself up with splash damage. So just making holes. And then one thing I can do is I can also come up top here. Just like so. I'm gonna drop back down. Because there's some stim packs I want. Cutting a hole through the walls of enemies. That's what I'm doing. Slicing and dicing. Slicing, slicing through them like it's butter. It's a stick of butter. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and save my ammo. And, uh... Try to hit that switch. I had missed it the first time. But yeah, save my ammo. And then let's go ahead and roll around this arena. See if we have any more stim packs. I think I grabbed all of them already. But not too bad. It that was that didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, but we're alive and we have a decent amount of health, tiny bit of armor. So just like uh, previously, you know, these walls are on a timer. So I hit that switch. It activated this wall. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit that switch, which will let us exit. We flip this. Don't get crushed. It's a waste of health if you get crushed. And let's go ahead and save it again. And now we're going to have to get this red key. This is a little... Uh, this can be a little tricky. And a little scary, too. And there we go. Okay. Whew. I got lucky there, man. Alright. So, I'm going to circle around here real quick. I don't need to do this. But what I want to do is actually come back down this hallway. And this is something I did not realize I could do when I first played this map. This is where knowing specific strategies will will carry you through some of these maps. So one of the strategies is coming down here and letting all these guys funnel down and get crushed along the way. And then I'll just pick them off one by one as they try to squeeze their way through this door. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. I'm not looking forward to the platforming section that's coming up just shortly. And the platform section is really why I don't play this map nearly as much as I would like to. I really enjoy a lot of the fights in this map. I love being able to funnel enemies down. It's basically using my brain to solve sort of a puzzle, you know? Um, but uh, I really, really, really do not like the platforming section. You guys will see why uh, once we get to it. 
Now, I don't want to just shoot my rockets down unless the enemies are close because the rockets are going to get absorbed by the crushers. So I'm just going to sit here and just watch. Also, you can actually shoot through these windows. You got to be careful about that. Enemies can hit you through those. Just letting the crushers do the work for me. Again, this is not a speed strat. You know, there are a lot of Doom speedrunners out there, so if you're if you're watching this, trying to get speedrun strategies, this is not this is not that kind of tutorial. But you know, if you want to play for survival, like I typically do, then um, this is a great strat to play by. This is one of the things I love about Sunder in particular is that there are usually multiple ways to get through specific fights. What I could have done is just stayed inside that arena and then herded the enemies towards the middle with that big series of crushers. But this is this is safer. It's easier, you know? So, but I have choice. I'm not forced to do the fight a very specific way. Uh, I do have some choice. So this is going to open up this red door and this is where our platforming session is going to be. So let's go ahead and switch over to my chain gun. And I want to grab all this ammo because we're going to be using it here. Now there are some mancubi or mancubis, um, and one thing you can do is you can try to pick them off. There's one up top there. You can see there's that sort of graded window, and unfortunately my auto aim's not going to trigger that far. So, but what I'm going to do is squeeze my way through here. That was actually bad. Grab some more shells. Watch out for the mancubi. They're shooting from all directions. I'm not going to bother trying to kill them. It's just a waste of ammo. But if you're going for 100%, like an ultraviolence max run or something like that, then you are going to have to figure out how to kill them. Alright, so I'm going to do one specific thing here. I'm going to run real quick. It's going to trigger these doors, or these windows. And then I can kill these uh, chain gunners from a distance. And it looks like he's dead. I want to get this one. And then again, just lightly tap the gun. And if you lightly tap the gun, uh, your chain gun will be 100% accurate all the way across the map. Which gives you more of a standing chance against these guys. And again, like I said, we're going to be quick saving here because this is such a pain. Can I get that? Oh, I got it, but I got crushed in the process. Uh, so getting this supercharge here is very, very risky. So a lot of times what I do is I just skip it. And that's not what I wanted to do. So let's just rush through here. So one of the tricks to this section is staying on the outer edges of these platforms. You notice that there's the dark part in the middle. It's more like a circle. And then there is uh, the the lighter color. I wonder if I can actually grab this. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's that's better. I'm gonna go ahead and save it since we grabbed that. That way we don't have to do it again and again and again and again. So stay on the outer edge, and then try to snipe these guys one by one. All right, outer edge. Squeeze over this way. All right, got crushed, not a big deal. Yeah, this part is just very nasty. Very, very, very nasty. Okay. Oh, no. <sighs> this part always stresses me out, man. You can probably tell why. Yep, and we're dead. We have to do it again. So what I meant to do is actually quick save um, after each platform, but I didn't do that. I actually went against my word. Okay. Now, one of the things you might want to consider doing on this part is turning auto run off. I have auto run on, or make sure you've got a key mapped to your run button so you can... Um, slow down. If you press the run button when you've got auto run on, uh, you, you will actually walk. Okay, and there we go. Quick save. Alright, that didn't take as many tries as I expected, which is good. Cyber Demon's going to appear right here. We don't need to do anything with this cyber. Unless you're going for 100%, you don't need to do anything with that cyber. And you know what's funny? We're only 20 minutes in. We're almost done with the map already. Uh, that's how short this map is. Uh, it's actually a very short map. It's just that... <laughs> When you're playing it, you're probably going to die a lot, and a lot, and a lot. And so it's going to feel like it's a lot longer than it actually is. 
So going ahead and just picking up ammo, and we've got a uh, spider mastermind up there. What I'm going to go ahead and do is leave the mastermind, because my goal is to hit this one switch first. But I'm going to leave the mastermind up there, see if he'll... Are you serious? Alright, let's redo that. <laughs> I'm going to leave the mastermind up there, and uh, see if he'll get some infighting going with some of these enemies that are going to spawn in. So, we have a series of switches. Once we hit this first switch, enemies start appearing, just like so. And I'm gonna work my way through these maze-like crushers. Now, there's a gimmick on this fight as well, which is actually very common in Sunder, and some other Doom mods as well. So, there are teleporters on both sides of the arena. And the way enemy movement works in Doom is enemies will just always move towards you, wherever you are in the map. So when I teleport to the other side, the enemies switch directions. They try to go to where I, where I teleport to. And so as enemies herd towards this direction, instead of trying to circle around them, I can take the teleporter, go to the other side, and here's the mastermind again. Use him as a meat shield, in a way. Oh, looks like I have infinite height actually uh, disabled. Okay. I just walked on top of the uh, the enemy's heads. Uh, so I thought I had infinite height on, but it, apparently I don't. Let's go ahead and switch to my plasma gun. I want to try to get rid of this guy. Because it's not working out. It's not working out at all. Die, die, die! Thank you! Alright, let's see if we can do this without crowd surfing. Because I feel guilty when I crowd surf, when I say... I, I, I think I said in my previous Let's Play that Infinite Height was turned on. Which means that enemies basically have this invisible wall that goes on, you know, over top of their heads. Meaning that, uh, you can't walk on top of them. But when you have Infinite Height turned off, you can walk on top of them. So this is pretty much it. Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of enemies, we've got Mancubai up top, we can try to kill them if we want 100% or something. But, yeah, they're not really too big of a deal, they're not really too much of a threat, because you've got all these walls in the way. So even if a Mancubus tries to shoot you from all the way across the screen, they're not going to be able to, because of those walls, those columns. Alright, so, uh, my next goal here is actually to, uh, flip all the switches, so let's go ahead and teleport back over. I think one of them is over that way. Another one of them is over this way. And so here it is. Yeah, when I first played this wad, uh, this map was very, very difficult for me. Um, I didn't realize there were teleporters, for one. And I wasn't as familiar with monster infighting at the time. But now, with knowing the teleport locations, how to herd the enemies intentionally, a specific, a specific way, um, it's a lot easier. It's actually way easier than I, I thought it was. So... Again, you can just let those crushers do a lot of the work for you. Right, exit's open. I'm not going for 100%, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go back and try to get, you know, all the uh, item pickups and whatnot. But yeah, that is uh, Sunder Map Four Metal Descendants. So, uh, for those of you guys that like Doom mods and you want to, you want to try something like Sunder. Uh, hopefully, this video will be of help for, uh, to you. Uh, you know, showing us some specific strategies and whatnot. For everyone uh, that, you know, doesn't care about Doom, but maybe you watch here anyway, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I've got many Let's Plays like this and many, many more to come. Uh, for all of you already sub, thank you for your continued support. And uh, with that, I don't think there's really much else to talk about with this map, so I'm going to get out of here. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until the next one, take it easy.